Hey guys, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today we're going to be doing a very easy Easter project. This project is great for the kids to get involved in, and if you watch the St. Patrick's Day project where we did the pendants or magnets, um, this is the same thing just with an Easter twist. For this project, we're going to use some glass stones, and we have some scrapbook paper that is Easter themed. I've got eggs and I have bunnies, and both are really cute. And you don't have to use scrapbook paper, you can just use um, some images that you might find off the internet, in magazines, or anything like that, too. But for this particular project, I'm using the scrapbook paper. So the first thing I did was I cleaned the glass stones with a little rubbing alcohol. And so now the surfaces are nice and clean. And we're gonna start with the egg paper. And you're gonna just go around, find one of the eggs that you like. I happen to like this pink Happy Easter one. And I'm gonna take my pencil and I am going to draw around or trace around the piece, the glass piece. And if you'll notice, I have my pencil angled so I'm actually kind of going underneath that edge a little bit. And that will make it easier to cut the right shape. And this is a project that is absolutely perfect to get the kids involved in. If they're ready to use scissors and a little glue, they'll be ready to go. And you can get a lot out of one of these scrapbook paper pieces. Then we're going to take some Mod Podge and on the flat back side of it, you're going to put the Mod Podge, spread it around, and then lay it down over your piece of paper. Press it down really well. Take some more Mod Podge and put it all over the back. Then you want to take your finger and you want to run it along the back. Make sure it is all stuck down, the edges and everything. Add a little more Mod Podge and then you can let it dry. Now, I'm going to show it to you right now. If you're using the regular Mod Podge, it will work. I'm using the Super Gloss, so you can hardly tell that there's any Mod Podge on there. But if you're using the regular Mod Podge, it's going to show up cloudy. And as long as you let it dry, um, it will eventually be nice and clear. So don't worry about that. If you just have the regular Mod Podge, go ahead and use it. Now for the bunnies, they're super cute, but my stones are not quite big enough to capture their entire body, which is okay because I think they're just as cute if I include only like their ear and their heads and it just catches a little bit of their body, like the, the little guy's bow tie. Super cute. So I'm going to do the same thing. Take my pencil and trace around and cut it out. Now I don't know why I happened to go right in the middle of my page, but I did. And remember to cut on the inside of the line that you drew. So again, I'm going to take the Mod Podge, put it on the back of the stone, and then put it over my bunny. Press it down. And you can press most of the bubbles out that way. But I like to put the Mod Podge on the back. But just as a little insurance, I'd like to just give it a little rub after. Make sure everything's down and the edges are, are curled around a little bit. And then again, put it aside to dry. But look how cute he is. Here are the little Easter stones all finished. Look how cute the eggs are. They're colorful. They say Happy Easter. And then look at these adorable little bunnies. And remember, this is just scrapbook paper, but you can just find images off the internet in a magazine or wherever you may find it and use those instead. If it looks nice and neat on the back, you don't have to do anything to it. You can always paint over it or do something else on the back if you wanted to. These are fun to just hide in the Easter eggs because they're fun for kids to just have. Or you can get these jewelry bales and they come in different styles, sizes, finishes. And all you need to do is get some glue and glue it onto here just like that. And now you have a pendant. All you would have to do is add a chain or a cord and you have a necklace and it is really, really cute. Another thing you could do is you could glue on a magnet and then it could be used as a refrigerator magnet. You could have it in your locker or at school, um, wherever you want it. And one last idea is you can pick up some inexpensive napkin rings, either these unfinished ones from the craft store. You can find napkin rings at the dollar store very inexpensively as well. And you can paint them up and glue them on. And that would add a little bit of festive flair to your Easter table. So we've done this technique a couple of times and it's always fun, always easy and inexpensive and perfect for kids to get involved in. I do have an idea of how to incorporate this technique into a whole different kind of a project. 
So if you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, be sure to do that so you don't miss that coming up. I hope you guys like the Easter project and I hope you give it a try. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe, happy Easter. Have a very safe and happy holiday, you guys.